Hi guys, I think we're live. We're gonna wait a few minutes to get started. I'm gonna be joined in a second with Dr. Galaria. I'm Dr. Faz, I'm the founder of Dermy Doc Box, and I'm so excited to chat with Dr. Galaria today all about skin health and her supplements from Intergold Vitamins. So if you have already gotten our summer box, I hope you're loving these. If you haven't yet, or if you have questions on how these work, what is the science behind this? This is the live for you. I'm gonna be adding her here. Free to add any of your questions and we'll answer them as we go. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay too as I add her. All right, Dr. Galaria, here we go. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks Good, for thank joining you. me. I'm so excited. I'm just going to adjust my volume a bit. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Everyone is talking about these vitamins and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to answer these questions. I'm going to have you answer all these questions because you're the expert. You're the creator. So I'm just going to let some people join here. It looks like we have some people. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm Dr. Foz. We have Dr. Galaria with us. She's the founder of Interglow Vitamins. We have Interglow's Soul Defense gummies in our summer box. So we're going to be picking her brain, asking her a little bit about the science behind her vitamins, and hopefully answering any of your questions. So feel free to drop your questions during the live. If you have to go or you can't say, don't worry, we'll save this and repost it so you can hear all of her amazingness. But before I keep going, I'm going to let you talk. Please, Dr. Gloria, tell us about yourself, about your practice, and we'll dive in from there. Great. Thank you. Um, so I'm a dermatologist. I've been practicing gosh, about 22, 23 years. It's been a long time. Um, and we have three practices in the Northern Virginia area. And we do a lot of, so I have a practice with my husband who's also a plastic surgeon. We do a lot of skin cancer, a lot of medical derm. I also have a cosmetic and laser fellowship. So there's kind of, you know, that portion to our practice as well. Amazing. I love that you guys too are like a dream team, dermatology, plastic surgery, the best of both worlds. But I remember when we were talking, I think this was a few years ago at this point, and I was asking you a little bit about your brand. You kind of shared with me that because you are a practicing dermatologist and him as a plastic surgeon, seeing so many skin concerns over the years, over the decades, it was really important for you guys to build a brand together that made sense and was going to help patients. So maybe you can give us a little more insight on Inner Glow because you're clearly busy enough. You also didn't mention you're a mom yes. <laughs> and you're super busy already running a practice and with your kids. And then on top of that, you guys founded this incredible brand. So I want to know a little bit more about why inner glow why take the leap and kind of go through all this extra work for obviously your patients but also everybody else to benefit from yeah so I actually probably first became interested in this when I was an assistant professor at the University of Utah. And what people don't know is actually Utah has the highest rate of skin cancer in America. And oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really? I mean and I think it's because of the altitude. So, you know, the summers are hot, you ski in the winters and there is an incredible amount of skin cancer, but also in really young people. So I had a lot of patients coming in who were like, let's say 30 years old and were already getting their first skin cancer. And listen, they were doing everything right. Like they got their skin cancer. They were now wearing their sunscreen. They were wearing their protective clothing. And they were frustrated because every time they would come in, there were new spots. Yeah. And a lot of them I noticed were looking for kind of natural solutions and they weren't really hitting on the right ones. Like I remember this one woman coming in and she said, well, Dr. Galeria, I've read that if you just rub a banana peel on your cheek and then you apply your sunscreen, it works so much better. And that's when I was like, let me do some research for my patients. Yeah. <laughs> and so essentially kind of me trying to help them learn about natural substances and nutraceuticals turned eventually into a very deep dive where I thought, let me just see what is research proven and scientifically tested. And as I started to look, I was like, oh, there actually aren't things around that contain all of these ingredients. Yeah. And really that was where Inner Glow came from. Like 15 years ago, I realized there was a need. And then, you know, like you said, we've got practices, I've got four kids. And so, you know, as we did the research and as we, you know, it was important to us to source it the way a medicine is sourced. So yeah. we wanted it made in an FDA registered facility. They're not, you know, they're not regulated. Um, and so there's a lot of 
garbage out there. Um, and then we wanted them to be non-GMO and third-party verified. So it had to be something that I was willing to give my own kids and my own patients. And I think that's really why Interglow has become so, so successful is that it is something that, you know, people can get behind. They know it's a pure product. I want to harp on that point because I think it's so easy, especially in the age of social media. Like everyone is talking about supplements for their skin and uh, you would not believe, I mean, you and I know, but for the average person to see this on social media, like it's very easy to fall into these traps of taking supplements that, as you said, contain garbage, even things that, you know, people are really promoting heavily. I really want to shake people sometimes and say, hey, there's just a lot of private equity money behind these brands and they know mm -hmm. how to push their marketing. But when it comes to a physician developing a product, putting your heart and soul into it, research, and then even the way you ethically source ingredients is another huge part of supplements that a lot of people don't understand. It just takes it to the next level. So that's why it's been so easy for me to recommend Interglow for my patients, whether it's your hair, skin, and nails formula or your age defense or now the soul vitamin defense gummies. All of them are just incredibly well done. And I know I know you're very humble about it, but I know this was no easy feat. And I know this took a ton of work. So I want people to understand more of like the science behind this, because I will say a lot of people have hesitancy seeing a whole bottle in their summer box. They're like, why is this derm throwing supplements at me and gummies? Like this is probably garbage. Why would she put something like this? And this is such a filler product. And I want to scream to people and say, no, 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 guys, I promise you there is so much incredible evidence behind these gummies and how they work. So just for the average person opening this bottle for the first time, maybe a little skeptical about a vitamin. Can you tell us a little bit more about PL? or polypodium leucotomus and what exactly it does. Yeah, absolutely. So um, polypodium is a fern and it grows in many places across the world, but actually, you know, probably the place that it's most studied is South America. And, um, you know, one of the things that I think are really important to know is that this is a fern that has been used by people safely for thousands and thousands of years. So back when there were still tribes in South America, um, they were picking these leaves and they were brewing them as a tea to get extra sun protection. That's and so yeah. it's been, I mean, it has a very, very long proven safety profile. And since then, I mean, if you, let's say you Google polypodium leucotomos, you will see thousands and thousands of studies on it. It's been around for a while. Um, and, you know, if I can just step back for a second, Fatima, and talk about what a nutraceutical is. Um, so let's imagine polypodium is growing in South America in like the blazing hot sun and it is over the years developing these defenses. So it's evolving to protect itself from the sun. So it's trying to not shrivel up, not dehydrate, not get burned. And really when we're talking about a nutraceutical, we take that defense mechanism that a plant has evolved. We take those antioxidants and we harness their power for ourselves. And mm -hmm. that is really um, what antioxidants do. And when it comes to sun protection, polypodium is not just a little good at sun protection. It is really, really good. Yeah. So, you know, as dermatologists, we know that when it comes to the sun, there's really three main things that we are trying to prevent. So we are trying to prevent sunburn we're trying to prevent aging, so photo aging, and we're trying to prevent skin cancer. And polypodium, when you study it, there's actually components that protect you against all three. Mm -hmm. So that's really kind of an incredible thing to get all in one plant. And um, I think that, you know, the more I study it, the more I realize that it's got all of these benefits, not just the day of. So it's, you know, we always say, take it when you're going to be in the sun. You won't sunburn. It'll slow your aging. It'll slow your development of skin cancer. But the other thing it does is it also protects you. So if you do get a sunburn, it undoes that damage faster. And if you do have, um, you know, a history of maybe skin cancer, uh, there's something we talk about called P53, which is you know, think of that as the kind of the guardian of our genome, uh, the sun will suppress that and polypodium helps to protect it. So there's all of this background stuff that makes it really amazing beyond just kind of being an additional layer of sun protection. 
Yeah, I think the really amazing thing is, as you said, it's not a, it's nothing new. It's just the way that we're harnessing now where we're starting to hear more of this buzz, but this is an ancient practice that yes. is now really just being developed and really well published at this point. So if you guys are PubMed gurus, you can go on and look up polypodium leukotomus and see all the amazing research and data coming from it. Now, what I like about yours is that number one, they're a gummy. So first of all, I suck at taking pills. I will be the first to admit whenever I prescribe my patients anything, I'm like, so the first thing you should know is I am not good at following my own <laughs> rules and directions. Right. And so it makes it 10 times easier for somebody, including myself, to actually be compliant with taking these because they taste incredible and you like actually enjoy ta taking them and they're sugar free. So you don't like feel guilty about taking them, but that's not right. the most important part. The most important part is that they're easy to incorporate into your daily routine for myself, but also for my kids. And firsthand experience, I will tell you right now, this, my kids literally line up at the door before we leave to summer camp and everybody gets their two vitamins after we've applied our sunscreen. And they know this is a part of their like summer camp routine. Get your clothes on, get your um, sunscreen on and get your vitamins. And so we're not replacing our sunscreen, but as you said, we're harnessing the ability of polypodium leukotomus to naturally protect us from the sun and also reduce the intensity or risk of sunburn altogether. And then for me, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be outside too. So I'm going to take them, but also anti-aging. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, exactly. And I think, um, you know, when I first started developing these, I had made our age defense tablets, which have polypodium podium and you know it's kind of a total of 14 antioxidants that are meant to help with both acute and chronic photoaging but I had these kids who were like in swim team and I was chasing them down and no kid was going to take a tablet and as they got older it was hard to reapply sunscreen and so I agree I mean this is something where I'm not just chasing them I'm not chasing them to take it I'm actually sometimes chasing them to take it away because they're you know it's so easy to take it um, and that was part of the goal was if you actually taste polypodium, like the fern, if you um, were to chew on it, it's got this like very, um, it's sweet, but it's got a very bitter aftertaste. Oh. And I think that's why people haven't put it into a gummy before. And so that was really a challenge. Like it took a while to figure out what flavors, because I want natural flavors, I want it sugar-free. And um, it's, you know, for anyone who hasn't tried it, it's passion fruit flavored, which is actually, I think, delicious. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons I chose passion fruit was it just really complements the leaf well. So it hides, you know, that kind of natural flavor. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't taste any bitterness in it. That's incredible. I did not realize that. That's so funny. Can you tell us a little bit more? So in addition to the polypodium leukotomus in these, there's niacinamide. Mm -hmm. And some people have questions about that. Can you talk a little bit about niacinamide, B3? What does all of that mean? And why do you like that? Yeah. So. So it's um, in addition to the polypodium, it's got niacinamide and then it's got passion fruit. Uh, passion fruit is a natural anti-inflammatory. So if you sunburn, it will help you to undo your sunburn a little bit faster. It's not super potent, but it worked well with the other two things, which are very potent. So polypodium and then the second thing being the B3 vitamin, niacinamide. Um, the form that we've chosen is something that is non-flushing. And then um, we have put a little bit in. So there's studies on niacinamide in small amounts and in very large amounts, it was very important to me that this be something that people could comfortably pick up for their children, um, who someone could pick it up over the counter. And I didn't have to worry, did they have a liver issue or a kidney issue? So it's a it's a effective amount, but also a very safe dose. Um, it's, you know, sometimes as germs, we talk about mega doses, 500 milligrams um, for patients specifically who have skin cancer. And I think those are great amounts for those people, but I knew a lot of people taking this would not have that. And so that's kind of how we, um, you know, formulated it. Yeah, I do really appreciate that you really thought about everybody across the board taking your gummies and the safety profile of doing that. Um, you know, people ask me, like, if you can take these when you're pregnant or breastfeeding, and I know technically we don't have data on those things. And I personally am still breastfeeding and taking them. I think that is also just a uh, um, a way for me to, to understand that there, there are supplements that I personally do avoid while breastfeeding. And then right. there are some, especially when you've taken the care into formulating these ingredients, realizing the dosages, the safety of the dosages, all of that plays into effect. And it's scary because people can go over the counter right yeah. now to the drugstore and grab things that are actually very harmful and 
are not regulated at all. It's a crazy wild west when it comes to the supplement game. And I wish more people understood that, that just because there's a supplement on the market doesn't mean it's being monitored very well. And so can you talk a little bit about that back end monitoring the things that you've done to make sure to ensure safety of your supplements? Sure. Um, Yeah. And one day maybe we'll have this conversation also about the hair supplement because boy, that's a place where there is really a lot of garbage out there um, that is, that has been proven to be dangerous, in fact, in people. Um, So when it comes to our supplements, um, we source them ourselves. So, you know, it's the benefit of being a physician led and physician developed company is we look at where the sourcing is coming from. We um, run studies on the uh, source that we are going to put into our vitamin. And then, um, you know, we also do third party verification. So once a batch is made, each and every batch gets sent to an independent facility in America and they test to prove that what we are saying is in the vitamin is actually in the vitamin. So that's a step far beyond. That's something that I you know, expect because I prescribe medicines. That's not something most people are doing with their vitamins. Um, It's something that's very important to me because I want to make sure that things I'm putting out there really are what they say they are. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, it's the same thing with the research. So we do a lot of research on these in our own office. But then, um, for example, for Soul Defense, we have an independent lab that does the UV testing to show that it really does show a difference. So, you know, we have um, some data that we're about to publish from an independent lab that some other dermatologists are writing up. Um, I'm not writing that. But it shows, like, if you sunburn one person's arm and then you give them these gummies, you wait an hour and you sunburn their other arm, there is a big difference in what we call their minimal erythema dose, like how long it takes them to sunburn. And so, um, you know, I'm not just taking the care and the development, but then I do want to make sure that the products actually work. So all of the vitamins do get tested beyond just, you know, what's in them. Yeah. I'm like so thankful that we stumble up, stumbled upon each other and I got to learn from you because truly changing the supplement game. And I hope people can understand that in this live and that comes across because again, there is so much out there that it, the people are not, companies are not doing their due diligence when they're putting out these supplements. I want to go to the comments. Please leave any questions or comments below because we don't have as much time, but I want to make sure to get to this comment. It says, these gummies have been a game changer for my sun allergy. I love it. They taste so good too. What's the difference between age defense and soul defense? And we didn't mention real quick, soul defense, you know, polypodium is great just for the average person on a day-to-day if you're going to the beach, if you want to reduce sunburn for your kids at camp, but also if you have a lot of sun sensitivities, sun allergies, sun sensitive conditions like lupus, melasma. Um, so if you can answer the question, what's the difference between your age defense gummies, or sorry, your age defense vitamins and then the soul defense gummies? Yeah, sure. So um, think of soul defense as really um, something that you take on a day you're going to be in the sun. So uh, it is Uh, fighting kind of acute sun damage the day of. And like we've talked about, there is some long-term benefit, but that's really the best way to think of it is let me um, use this as an additional layer of sun protection on a day that I'm going to be out. Mm -hmm. Age Defense is a tablet that has 14 different antioxidants and anti-inflammatories. So it does have polypodium in it um, as one of the 14, but then it's got these other 13 ingredients and combined, you can think of that as fighting not just acute, um, um, acute sun damage, but also chronic. So it will help to undo. So the ingredients like pycnogenol will help to undo melasma, which is caused by the sun, or green tea will actually help to undo tumor suppression. And so when you combine all of these together in age defense, you get kind of this whole package where you're not just protecting the day of, but, you know, kind of helping you to move backwards and undo. Yeah. So I think a good place for most people to start is like, okay, start with the gummies, see how you like them, um, see the benefit, especially the same day benefit, like we were saying, acute sun damage. So you're going to be outside for long periods of time. You want to reduce redness and sunburn and then look into the power of the age defense gum or vitamins because those vitamins you've been able to pack with a lot more nutrition for people to really take long term and see the benefits. And then I know you don't want to discuss hair too much, but your hair, skin and nail vitamins are my favorite and they are incredible. So if people are using the code Dermy20 today and you're going to try one of these vitamins off the innerglow.com website, 
Also grab the hair, skin, and nails one because that one is a game changer. And the way you've sourced the, the collagen, you included a ton of really good ingredients and at a safe level. I want to harp on that too because hair vitamins, especially you guys on the market right now, the intense amount of biotin alone yes. is unreal and truly not safe for most patients to be taking. So you've done a really good job at formulating these products to make sure that everyone can take them safely. Um, yes, thank you. And so our hair vitamins, um, you know, they have the correct amount of biotin. I will just say that uh, we are seeing, and we've seen even here in Virginia, people who, when you take too much biotin, it can interfere with not just thyroid and COVID um, testing, but uh, cardiac markers. And so heart attacks can be missed if you're taking the wrong vitamin. And the hair vitamin actually has 21 ingredients that you need for hair. If you pick up the average vitamin, it's got like biotin and maybe two or three other things. And so, um, you know, when you put all those nutritional building blocks in, that's when you really grow good hair. I think that, you know, people sometimes will pick up the thing that is, you know, seems like smaller or easier to take, but you're only getting a very small part of what you need for your hair. Yeah. Somebody's asking what's the youngest age group that can take these supplements. So I'm assuming the sole defense, but maybe you can talk about all the supplements because someone's visiting the website. Sure. So um, Soul Defense gummies, we say three and up. And the reason we say three is because they're a gummy. I just don't want someone to choke. So, you know, as a physician, like you said, we kind of think about, you know, first do no harm. Um, I will say there are a ton of studies on kids two and up taking polypodium. Um, and there was a huge multi-center study done on more than 100 kids uh, out of Spain recently. And it was actually for eczema. So if you have a kid that has eczema or is itching, they showed that polypodium in double the dose that's actually in two gummies is really good at decreasing itching and decreasing eczema. So a lot of the pediatric derms are actually recommending this to eczema kids. Um, but it would be very safe. We say three and up. Technically, if your kid's a good chewer, I guess they could do two. But um, three and up is very safe. And you can can take it when you're going into the sun and then it can be very safely repeated at any age um, four hours later so just the same way you reapply your sunscreen if you're still out at the beach or you're at the pool feel free to top up by reapplying sunscreen and then taking two more of these yeah that's a great point because you can definitely take them a little bit later especially if you're outdoors all day how about your hair skin and nails and age defense what age groups do you recommend for those? so i would say those those ones um, would be probably teenage. I, you know, my girls do take age defense from time to time. That is, there's actually not really any vitamins in that. That is a true antioxidant, anti-inflammatory blend. So I think if a kid wants to take it, it would be fine. The hair vitamin is formulated um, at adult doses. So I would say, you know, probably over the age of 15 or 16. Yeah. Perfect. And then a few of the same questions here about like, can you use these gummies for things other than sun protection? Should you be taking two every day all year long or just during the summer? What's your answer to that? So, you know, there's some early evidence now that polypodium will actually block against blue light. Um, and that research is still coming out. But if you're someone who works in front of a computer, if you work outdoors, um, you've got a really long commute, then yeah, you can very, very safely take polypodium every single day. And um, I think that that is something that more and more people are going to do because unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, 2024 is going to be the hottest year on record and before 2024, or 2023 was. So the amount of UV that we're getting and the heat that we are now being exposed to, I think um, I used to say to my patients, this was like a Memorial Day to Labor Day kind of product. Um, but I do notice that, you know, the time that people need this additional tool in addition to sunscreen is kind of getting a bit longer now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's one of those things where the more you know, the more information you have, the more tools you have, especially as we understand skin cancer, skin aging, and right. we have our children and our children are growing up, the habits that we teach them are so important. I mean, I laughed with my mom today and she was telling me like, we didn't do sunscreen when you were a little kid. Like that just wasn't a thing. I was sunburning all over the place. And right. my kids, like if my daughter came, she came home with a little bit of redness on her shoulders. And I was like, nah, -uh, not yeah. in this house. That will not be the case. <laughs> um, someone's asking real quick, and I know this gets into a lot. So this will be the last question we answer. Does the hair vitamin affect you if you do laser hair removal? That's a really big one. For me. Yeah. So, you know, this is a question that so many people ask. It's actually a really great question. Um, 
So the hair vitamin is meant to normalize your hair growth. And what I mean by that is if you are somebody, let's say with PCOS, or you've got, you know, a lot of hair, um, not just on your head, but in other areas, the hair vitamin is formulated to grow hair on your head, hair on your eyebrows, hair on your eyelashes. And there are ingredients in it that actually decrease the hair growth on things like the face or you know other body parts because when you turn down some of these hormonal influences with these herbs um, you actually get that benefit so no in fact you can definitely do laser and it's not growing body hair it should be growing you know head and eyebrow and eyelash hair and in fact potentially and i've had a few patients with pcos tell me that it's helped reduce their hair growth on their face, which is really exciting too. Absolutely, um, yes. Sometimes our PCOS patients struggle with androgenetic alopecia, hair thinning overall on the top of their scalp, and then they'll struggle with a ton of hair under their chin. Yes. We're not making any diagnoses here, but just something to think about or even consider or talk with your dermatologist about. Last question is where can we order these vitamins? So can you tell everybody? Sure. So um, the uh, website is www.innerglowvitamins.com. We also carry them on Amazon. We ship there in small batches if that's more convenient, but they won't be able to use your amazing coupon. And there are some select CVSs that we also ship to. Yay. Imagine soon you're going to be in CVS nationwide, hopefully. But yes, guys, if you use code DERMY20 today, you'll get 20% off your order. So you can get one of each, like try the soul defense, try the hair, try the age defense. You can get a one month supply, a three month supply, or you can automatically save 20% if you just sign up for a subscription that way. But Inner Glow Vitamins is the place to go. Or if you have a Dermy Doc box, you'll have tried the Inner Glow Vitamins Soul Defense gummies and that one too. Thank you so much. Also, can we do this again? Because every time I do this with you, I'm like, I have a million more things that I want to ask you. So I know you're busy, but please make me a promise that we'll do this one more time. We will do it again. It was fun. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to save this live if you missed it. So don't worry, it'll be on the page. And then you can also add your comments or questions there. Use code Dermy20 for 20% off at integralvitamins.com. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.